We do have a merger Monday, as Joe just mentioned. Take a look at what's been happening here. Uh, Chevron buying Hess in an all-stock deal that's valued at $53 billion. Uh, that's $171 a share, and I think that's a pretty low premium, 4.9% of a premium over the closing price for Hess on Friday. Hess shares right now are up by about 2.25%. Chevron shares down by about 2.9%. And this deal comes just weeks after ExxonMobil made its move to buy Pioneer Natural Resources. Um, as you can see, both these stocks on the move, as we just mentioned, Hess CEO John Hess is going to be joining Chevron's board. We've got a lot more details on this. In fact, I just got off the phone with Mike Worth, the CEO there, mm -hmm. asking about what happened with some of these numbers. Very low premium on this. They'd been talking for more than six months. He's, uh, this goes back since long before any of the uh, rumors came out about ExxonMobil and Pioneer, that deal that actually went through last week. And a lot of people thought after that deal that maybe Chevron would be looking for something else in the Permian Basin, that that was what was kind of on play. And you saw a lot of those stocks that have moved ever since. He said it wouldn't really make sense for them because he pointed out that they have more acreage in, in the Permian Basin than ExxonMobil will have even, even after, after. This Pioneer. is about Guyana or something? Yeah, this is about Guyana. They have right now 2.2 million acres in the Permian, and after the ExxonMobil with deal with uh, Pioneer, they will have 1.6 million acres. He said it just wouldn't make a lot of sense to be doubling down there. Guyana is the big thing that you mentioned, mm -hmm. but that is a really unique asset. John Hess, we know pretty well. Mm -hmm. You know, he's come on over yep. the years. Many, many times. And this is a big deal. I also ask, why are you doing this with all stock instead of with cash? Because they have so much cash on hand. The Chevron, the Exxon deal last week was half cash or a little bit more than half mm -hmm. cash by the time they went through. Um, this is a situation where he said, look, they don't like to do deals in cash because oil prices move so much when you're dealing with a commodity. If it's at $90 now, if it went down to $60, you look like you've overpaid for it, and the other side looks like it's sold uh, at a dumb price if it goes yeah. up significantly. Or this is like overpriced cats for overpriced yes. dogs. Yeah. But then I asked him, too, if this has to be a tax situation, yep. too, for John Hess, because if, I think the Hess family, between their trusts and things, on something like 8% or something around that. Right, stock. It's a much more tax advantageous deal to do it in a stock transaction for something like that, right. too. It's like one share. It's like share for share, yeah. uh, 1.025. But it's in no way a merger of equals at $318 billion versus um, $53 billion. Right. Uh, yeah. But, um, and it, you know, it's not, the market's not saying, whoa, it's, look, there's some merger right. activity. This is not help. Sentiment. So, the sentiment's bad. So here's a question for you. <clears throat> Look, the price of oil, for the most part, is out of the hands of a lot of these companies, mm -hmm. in large part. However, do regulators decide to look at this just given the size of these companies? I mean, this goes back to we were, the Exxon deal was Exxon, Exxon was a slightly different situation because of the, the retail piece of it. Yeah. I mean, or the lack of retail piece of it. This is this is this has both. And so I just wonder if you're especially regulators named Linda Kong. I'm just I'm I'm just asking the question. I would think that she's waking up this morning bad looking is, at this big is and bad. saying someone's got to make a phone call today. Big is bad, right? Oh, I can't imagine they won't. You know, they throw everything at the wall. Well, no, no. And then the Let's question is, is, is that right? Is it wrong? I don't, I don't know the wrong. answer. Wrong. We've had our own Well, no, no. There have been deals that have been wrong. Uh, you know, that we're, we're no, clearly know. there haven't been. There we is the overlap. She's there just, is overlap in this context. Yeah. A, a couple of things just for shareholders. They are holding a conference call at 7.30 Eastern time this morning. But ahead of that, I'll tell you a couple of things. They are planning on taking all the cash that they're not using on this deal and giving a lot of it back to shareholders. They're going to be increasing their share buybacks by $2.5 billion to $20 billion per year. And come January, they're, they're going to be talking about increasing, or they're not talking about, they will be increasing their dividend per share by 8% to $1.63 a share. That's going to be what they're doing with some of this excess cash that they have left over. By the way, the company points out, Chevron points out, Mike Worth says that their free cash will double by 2027 under this deal. So uh, they're looking at it in a lot of positive ways. And again, this has been going on for more than six months. These talks have been going on for a very long time. 3.6% yielder right now. Right now. Not right. too shabby. And I, I, Mike also said that they have increased their um, their. Uh, dividend per share by about 6% annually every year. They're going to, and that's double what any of their competitors are in the market. Any of the big competitors, they're going to be increasing it by 8%, so by even more. And that's what they're doing with the cash that they're not using on this deal since it's an all stock deal. I mean, was there any discussion about the, is it going to be a Chevron truck? <laughs> at Christmas, do you know, is that... Uh... Instead of the Hess truck? I, I, that's a really good question. No, I did not... no kidding. Uh, you know oh, the Hess is a great brand. It is it a great, is a great brand. brand. And yeah, the the Hess trucks we've had for forever. Well, will they keep it, though? 
for Hess airplanes and Hess helicopters there, and Hess. It's, it's been a gift we've had. No, but do we know if they're going to? No, but do we know if they're going to keep the Hess brand at the retail? Um, you know, at gas stations across the country. You don't, but I would. I think you wouldn't. You wouldn't. You want Chevron? Chevron? Why? You have this. You have like Chevron this. already as a brand. Because and why of, do you want to? Because of the trucks. Want, but why do you want to spend the money to market Christmas. both both brands? Well, they're probably they're not probably calling don't. it Chevron Hess. Like no, Exxon they're going to call it Chevron. They'll call, they'll, and they'll knock out every marketing expense that they have currently. Why? They don't need to have two marketing I'll departments and two I'll ad miss campaigns. The trucks. I'm, I'm just personally would like to see the Hess trucks still. All right, come. asking. Find out. We'll find out. <laughs> we can find out because we'll have more details. Yes, we will. We'll have more details as we go through the morning. But again, um, yeah, big deal on a Monday morning. Huge. Yep. And, and Mike Worth's legacy, probably, legacy deal for, not that he's old. What happened? He, Mike Worth says we're still working on the plan for the trucks. They are very important to John Hess. <laughs> <All right. laughs> so, yes, we're That's in great. favor of that, too. What You say it here and it comes out there. Now, is that how it works? Or they say it there. So that uh, good. Yep. Keep your phone right yeah. there.